Hello everyone, welcome to today's lesson. Today I would want us to continue with the question that we were doing in our last lesson, which is uh, June 2011, June 2011, question number 2C, question number 2C, time series. For those of you who have got our revision kits, you will simply, that is RCM revision kits, you will simply go to page number 82, page number 82. So you are told the data below relates to the sales revenue of Pretty Flowers Limited for the last three years. So they've given us 2008, 2009, 2010 required. They want us to give them the centered four quarter moving average that we did very well in our last session. Number two, they want us to give them the average seasonal index of each quarter using the multiplicative model. Using the multiplicative model. Now remember, multiplicative model, ladies and gentlemen, we have here the multiplicative model. Multiplicative model. We have y being equal to t times s. Multiplicative, so times s. Now remember that our time series has got four components. We have the trend, we have the seasons, we have the cyclical, and then we have the erratic variations. However, for our prediction purposes, we don't make use of cyclical. We don't capture erratic here. Why don't we capture the two? Because of uh, they are unpredictable. You can't predict them very well. So we have these two only. So y should be equal to t times what here? t times s. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they want us, first of all, to give them the seasons. And for us to give them the seasons, seasons will be y divided by what here? If you make s the subject, y divided by the trend. These four quarter moving centered averages, four quarter moving centered averages, these are the ones that we shall take as our trend. As our trend. So this is a column of the trend. Now once you have that, what you need to do is to come and give us a column here where you shall capture the seasons. Seasons, which is y divided by t. Y divided by t. Of course here, dash, dash. Why? Because why is our business variable, which is our revenue? Why is our business variable? Why is our business variable, which is our revenue? So this is our y variable. This is our t variable, t variable, t column. So y divided by t, if you look at the business variable here, which is y for quarter one is 16, 16. And of course, the trend is not there. So straight away, we have this being a dash. Look at the second one, the same, dash. The third one, we have uh, y being 24 divided by 22.5. So we have here 24 divided by 22.5, which gives us 10 point, or rather 1.07. The next one will be 12 divided by 24.25. 12 divided by 24.25, which gives us 0 0.49. The next one will be 24 Divide by 24 divided by 26.25, which gives me 0 0.91. The next one will be 40 divided by 40 divided by 28.25, which gives us 1.42. The next one will be 34 divided by 30, which gives us 1.13. The next one will be 18 divided by 33, which gives us 0 0.55. The next one will be 32 divided by 37, which gives us 0 0.86, 0 0.86. The last one is 56 divided by 40.25, which gives us 1.39. So that's the first thing that you do. Get your seasons using this multiplicative model. After you do that, come and give us summary. Summary of seasonal variations. Summary of seasonal variations. How will this look like? Very easy. So we have our four quarters being uh, column titles. So we have 2008. We have 2009. We have 2010. So 2008 here we have dash dash, quarter 3, we have 1.07, 0 0.49. 2009, I can see one, 0 0.91, as 2009. 
0 0.55 and then we have 0 0.86 1.39 and then dash dash like that so once you have your summaries what you need to do is to come and uh, give us the total here so give us the total so total what do we have we have 0 0.91 plus 0 0.86 which gives us 1.77 we have 1.42 plus 1.39, which gives us 2.81. 1.07 plus 1.13, which gives us 2.2. We have 0.49 plus 0.55, which gives us 1.04. After you get the total, we want averages. So give us averages. You can see like to get 1.77, we have two numbers. So take 1.77 divided by 2 which gives us 0 0.89. 2.81, again, has got two numbers there, 2.81 divided by 2, which gives us 1.41. Then we have 2.2 divided by 2, giving us 1.1. 1.04 divided by 2, which gives us 0 0.52. So come and uh, test where these averages are accurate by giving us the sum total of all of them, 0.89 plus 1.41, plus 1.1 plus 0.52 which gives me 3.92 now there are errors that are inbuilt here why because i know that this being four quarters if the model was to be error free then we should have gotten exactly four here so four is what we should have gotten here so what you need to do is to come and give us a correction factor so multiply this by a correction factor how do you get this correction factor it's very easy take the 3.92 that you have obtained times i needed to have four here you divide by this bad figure which is 3.92 so that now these and this will be tending to cancel will cancel out so this correction factor has to be multiplied with all these values one at a time so what i need to do is to come and talk over 0.89 times this correction factor 4 divided by 3 point divided by 3 point divided by 3.92 9.2, which gives me 0 point. So the corrected averages, what we call the ASIs, average seasonal indices, the adjusted seasonal indices. So then this one here will be 0 0.91. This one here by the correction factor will be 1.41 times 4 divided by 3.92, which gives me 1.44. 1.44, so 1.1 times 4 divided by 3.92, which gives me 1.12 we have 0.52 times 4 divided by 3.92 which gives me 0 0.53 so then at the end of the day if you need you can again come and give us the summation of this asis so we have 0.91 plus 1.44 plus 1.12 plus 0.53 which gives me exactly 4 a 4 4 so these adjusted seasonal indices are the ones that your examiner had wanted you to ascertain. Are the ones that the examiner had wanted you to ascertain. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who would want very good online classes, very good online classes, please consider AfriSchool RCM classes. Just come to RCM Stand Bank or give us a call using the number that you are seeing on the screen there. Then straight away we shall be able to connect you. If you need special classes, straight physical classes, that is, straight away, just come to Stand Bank House. We shall be able to teach you. Otherwise, thank you very much. Please keep on sharing our posts. Thank you.